how am I going to describe this move? This is weird. 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 Okay. You understand? I mean, when I heard it first, I said, what is wrong? Very weird decision. Abusia mama mta wasi na mfasi dake si ayu chichili chini film mega TV ya so yamfambro bibia uti mega TV ubibia uhi news updates watia si ewo ipeji kesi so mega TV hano abusia yebe da wasi si abre na abre na ano ufollow ye news na ufollow ni ni ma ya dito so abusia mesro se we di mesro ni di ma mesro se na na yo first time abomodi na na faunza kan subscribe button na na turn the notification bell on ene be bo na I bring a brain in an abusia, but no, you better get in touch. You be who you better hear honka, you better hear boom. I'm a baby, 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 I'm in parliament or more take decision be a or more a year my no i am a minority leader a haruna idrusu what i say or more a year in a free honor the a year on a boat at forcing the abba as a minority leader when a year kwasi brad junior or the same be a bit to get now in some now what the abano deal or see a moon a moon she she what i say or the same a day a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a you yeah, understand? I mean, when I heard it first, I said, what is wrong? Very weird decision. And it gets worse when you hear the justifications. Mm. You understand? What was weird about it? For example, the MPP, mm -hmm. uh, the last, pre mm -hmm. the last mm -hmm. parliament, was mm -hmm. that the 7th? The mm -hmm. previous one? Mm -hmm. Okay. They mm -hmm. had a leadership. Mm -hmm. When the eighth, we mm -hmm. got the eighth. Mm -hmm. They did a shake up to their leadership. They changed mm -hmm. some, mm -hmm. brought in some new people, maintained mm -hmm. some. Mm -hmm. So Adjoa Safu and others went out, and other prayer others came in. Mm -hmm. The NDC maintained mm -hmm. theirs. They mm -hmm. didn't effect any changes. Mm -hmm. They now say they are effecting the change. What's weird about that? Now let me explain what is right. weird about it. I mean, look, in this business, timing is sometimes 90%. Of the game plan. They're more sensible. Timing. Mm -hmm. So if you look at timing, this is wrong, wrong, and wrong again. On all fours. On all fours. I mean, if I'm sitting in the NDC leadership, and this is the time when all this issue about COVID expenditure, you know, is playing out, where Auditor General's report is playing out. Look at the, the issues, National Cathedral issues playing out and so on. What you do you should go and throw in this letter. I mean, incredible. You remember, there have been cases in Britain. I can't remember the names, but, but there were cases in Britain where actually politicians were looking for the best time to do certain things. Yeah. And that is, that, that, that's all aimed at focusing the public attention on things and so on. If you look at it from that perspective, this letter... Is, 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 is strange, I mean, to say the least, so, so very strange. That's number one. Number two, I mean, yesterday, I was so alarmed by what is happening that I decided to call up, you know, people on the minority side. And I'm not exaggerating. I spoke to about 10 members of parliament from the minority side. None of them knew that this was going to happen, it took them by surprise. Now, you are choosing a leadership for a group, and you don't find it necessary to consult them. Randy, is this not incredible? They, they say that... They, I it, hear, it's incredible! But, but see, I hear, I hear that these are decisions that are normally taken by the executives. Consult? Yeah, by the executives. So, and the executives will include a parliamentary um, um, caucus as well. But all of them came out expressing surprise. Indeed, Haruna Idrisu went to the extent of describing it as a coup. Really? Yes. 
Is it that social media thing you saw? Yes, that's because right. I've, 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 I've heard Haruna say severally that he, he has no Facebook uh, page. So oh, okay. anytime you see anything there, okay. it, is, okay. it is a creation of somebody. No, but whatever yeah. it is, I mean, I heard Neil and Tim Van Der Poel, yes. not on Facebook, on yes. radio, yes. saying that he came to them as a surprise. Yeah, he was talking about extended leadership. Yeah, that came to them as a surprise. So one of the basic things you do is you consult. That didn't even happen here. Okay? Now, these are people who have been making public statements calling on the government to consult the, the, the Bankers Association, to consult individual bondholders and so on, and they are doing things that they don't consult. But has that been the practice? Because, for example, they say that, look, it is the party that appoints. In, 20, in 2017, it was the same party that appointed Harun Edrisu and the four others. And you think there was no consultation? There was wow. consultation. There was consultation. With this particular parliament, we saw a letter signed by John Buedu to the speaker saying that at the, at the National Council meeting, right. this was the decision they took. Right. And then put everybody there, or said, Chairman Sabun uh, I'm every, quite sure that there was some consultation. They said at the National Council meeting. National Council meeting. Yeah. Exactly. Consultation. You understand? There must be some consultation. Here, we are getting the impression there was no consultation. And I spoke to parliamentarians who have said two, three terms, and so on. Yesterday, I read the statement which was made by Dominic Ayini. Yes. Dr. Dominic Ayini. Mm -hmm. And he emphasized, you know, that in all of this, democracy must be seen to be working. And he made the point that consultations were essential now, how could there have been consultations on this matter that Dr. Ayini did not know about? Yeah, he's not part of leadership. He's part of the extended leadership. For, for many people, because yeah. just a minute, for many people, they say that, look, the issue of consulting parliamentarians, maybe it could be far-fetched. Mm -hmm. And that the issue really has to do with the, either the feck or the neck of the NDC. So the focus should be whether this was a decision arrived um, at a neck or fake meeting, <clears throat> and really not about the uh, parliamentary extension. No, sir. I still believe that consulting the parliamentarians was an important element. Okay. And it doesn't matter whether that is what was done before or what is being done for the first time. The thing is, Mark, you are okay. electing lead. You are, you are appointing leaders for a group of people. Yeah. Yeah. You are not appointing shepherds for sheep. Yeah. If you're appointing shepherds to go and look after sheep, mm. you may not have to consult the sheep. True. You're appointing leaders for your parliamentarians. Mm. And you don't think that it's necessary to consult them? Mm. My goodness, what is this? Incidentally, both the chairman and general secretary are former MPs. But, Randy, it gets worse. Okay. I mean, when this statement had been released and the backlash started unfolding, mm. now... We started hearing reasons why this was done. Okay. Oh, no. Boy, oh, boy. Have you read the reasons? Read the graphic. It is there. We are told, for example, that, uh, you know, the next election is going to be fought on the economy. Mm -hmm. And because the next election is going to be fought on the economy, you need an economy. This election has not been fought on the economy. <laughs> Randy, don't kill me. No, which election has not been fought on economy? <laughs> At least in the Fourth Republic. <laughs> but, Master, so you need an economist huh, to lead the parliamentary group. My goodness. This is some reason. Okay, if that is the case, huh, then perhaps we need the most qualified economist to lead the pack. If it's about your academic qualification and so on, is, is Atu Fosun the most qualified economist in parliament? He's their ranking member on finance. Okay, so yeah. that, just to be fair to the chairman, let me read what is in the graphic. Read okay, it. but yes. you give me sufficient time. Of course, of course. Oh, okay, of course. okay, okay, okay. Of course. no problem, no, I don't have a problem. It says, so this is uh, page three of the daily graphic. It says, quote, we are positioning ourselves for election 2024, and everybody knows that the election will be fought on the economy. So we put our best economic foot forward. That is why we brought in Dr. Atu Fosun as the leader. And it says, aside from the area of specialization, it was also for regional balance purposes in the leadership of a party. 
go to realize that Western region has for a long time been sidelined. So when you find Ama Kofi Bua, who's an energy person in there, it was to correct that. He says Kwame Agboja was the party's lead person in infrastructure in parliament. Adding that the reason was that the MPP had started talking about infrastructure. And the party needed somebody who had an in-depth knowledge about the area to speak to those issues. However, declined to comment on the constitutionality of changes and whether wider consultations were done before they were effected. What has the point I'm making? I mean, this whole thing about uh, you know technical competence and academic qualifications and so on. I mean, it's really, really <laughs> what? But you see, if you take that justification. One of the issues being discussed today, huh, which is receiving most attention, is the National Cathedral. But I don't see any priests in their list. <laughs> but why are you laughing? <laughs> I mean, let's, let's do maybe, this. Maybe, maybe, there's no, maybe there's no priest amongst them. Oh, I see. So uh, on, that, on that score, they, they, they don't have. They, don't have they will lose. <laughs> or oh, they will find, they have an SU vice president. So they will rely on SU. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is this? Lisa, it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there.